Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So in this video, we will talk about reporting services in Configuration Manager or in SCCM. So as we already know that SCCM do provide the reporting services as well. So there are a lot of information in SCCM that you require to uh, to fetch it for for uh, for any reason kind. Like suppose you have push an application to a device and you wanted to see what is the exact status of that application is it installed or it is in the pending state or if that in that if that application requires a reboot so that kind of information uh, very easily can be fetched from the reporting so this is the reporting service that 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 can be done from the reporting services which is provided by the SCCM so by default SCCM provide uh, somewhere around 500 plus reporting around 50 plus folders that you will find on the reporting services and in the coming video in in, in the at, at the end we will try to install the reporting service role in our SCCM so you will you will come to know how we can install it so if you remember it we while doing the uh, SCCM installation we have installed the SQL Server and SSRS that is SQL Server reporting service uh, application however we have not configured it so today in this video we are going to configure it so the reporting uh, are like tools that can help you to see the information in different ways uh, you can use a program called uh, report builder to create new reports or a modify existing reports also uh, that report builder is available in uh, post 22 I guess uh, it's available in all of the versions so you can use uh, that report builder tool to create or modify the existing report so the report builder is like a report making workbench uh, by which you can drag and drop things uh, to organize information how you want it or whatever you want it so that is how you can use to create modify and report uh, how this is how you can create and modify the report using a report builder uh, running a report once the reporting service is installed you will be able to find uh, the reports pre-created reports by the Microsoft or by the SCCM into the reporting services in the reporting folder so you can open those reports and report viewer and that report viewer show the information based on the setup of the report or what kind of parameters are being over there now as I told you that there are around 500 of reports so maybe you might not be using every single reports uh, in your environment but there would be a set of reports that you will be using regularly so in that scenario what you can do is you can actually add those report into the favorites so you don't have to go into the each every folders and uh, uh, each every folders to look it again and again so let me do one thing let me share my let me logged into uh, the SCCM server and let me show if I jump into my SCCM server uh, you will came to know that I don't have any reporting installed as of now so I just bringing my SCCM server up now so you will see it is connecting to the SCCM corp uh, so now if I go on monitoring tab and if I try to extend the reporting you will find that the reporting itself is empty nothing is there no subscription no power bi reports you can also create the power bi reports now it's available on sccm uh, but if you go in the folder reporting you will find that it is even not configured once it is configured you will find the reporting server manager and server reporting manager and reporting server uh, url over here but as of now it's not there so in the coming video we will try to install it for you so that that is was the uh, example of adding report to the favorite now what is report prompt uh, report prompt is something you might only want to see the information about specific things uh, report prompt are like filter that you can use to set or narrow down the information in a report that is called as a report prompt for example uh, you could prompt for a specific device name or a collection that you wanted to see a report just for a device or a for a collection so it is just a boundary that you are narrowing down or you are putting a specific uh, segment as per your requirement 
all right so uh, we were on report link so a report link in sccm is used to uh, used in a source report to provide a easy access to another data for example it's a link that uh, having a more detail or more information about another item in the same resource uh, what i mean to say over here uh, for example you have a you have a report which have a list of uh, list of computer that is on your site so now you wanted to see what are the application that are installed i'm just giving a hypothetical uh, example and now you wanted to see that what are the application that is installed on that machine so what you will do you will create another report and you will link that report to this one so now whenever you click on that machine it will open another report that report will be having the information about the list of application that is installed on that machine so in was one in the first report there was a list of application sorry in the first report there was list of computer on your site now the another report is having the information about the application that is installed so you are linking both the report this is called as report link report folders as i as as i told you earlier uh, we have around more than 500 reports available plus reports available in sccm so obviously it's managing it it's very difficult so there are predefined folders or also if you are creating your own uh, report custom reports for your purpose uh, you wanted to give it to the higher management for uh, reporting purpose or you wanted to uh, set up a subscription or a email for that what you can do you can create folders and you can move the reports up and down so that that's the example of that's how we can uh, manage the report by creating the folders now what is subscription Sub to get a report for a specific interval of time suppose there is a request where you wanted to see the distribution point and their storage so what you do you create a custom report uh, where the report is fetching the information of your content that is get delivered or that is get distributed on your distribution point now what you have done you have configured a report whatever the distribution whatever the content that you have distributed or has not distributed successfully you want a report every day at 12 am or at 12 pm or 10 am in the morning so that whenever you come into the office you have your report that these are the distribution point where the content was failed so what you will do you will create a subscription and you will uh, you can create the subscription to get that report daily on your uh on your mailbox so that is the report uh, subscriptions report builder as i confirmed earlier as well so report builder is a report uh, is a tool that you can use to create and modify your reporting services uh, very easy to use and a good tool to use it so you can customize uh, your report uh, from the report builder and uh, you can actually drag drop you have a interface where you can actually drag drop and design the report as per your requirement and friendly and you can report and then you can publish those report as per your requirement and share it to the sql server reporting services use report model to help your uh, select items from your configuration manager database to include in uh, model based in a model based reports so whenever you build a report or report module expose only to a specific view then the item is chosen from the from that and you can create the model based on uh, one of uh, then you create the module based report at least one report module has one to available the report model has also have some of the feature that it's give a logical business name to the database field and view and and proceed with the reports so that you don't required knowledge of uh, database structures Uh, you can group item logically you can actually uh, define relationship between items so you can integrate uh, integrate one item to another so that is how it it works in uh, report module in sql server configuration reporting services so now uh, what we will do we will jump into the uh, our sccm console and when see how we can configure the report and what are the logs that we can check to do it All right, so we are on the console right now, and uh, if I go on a monitoring, if I expand it, you will find that uh, there is no reporting available as of now. And if I click back on reporting, you will find that reporting links are not available for manager as well as for the server. 
So the first thing that we required is we required the uh, SQL Server reporting service to be installed. So in my case, I have done it uh, during the SCCM installation. So I will go, I will click on start, click on SQL Server reporting service, click on it, uh, click on yes. Now, CM01 is the uh, name of our site and SSRS is the reporting service instance. So we'll click on connect it might take one or two minutes to do it okay for now it is started all right let's start uh, configuring it so we need a service account that uh, we can authenticate it so I have already a service account created called uh, corp slash this corp slash sql underscore sc all right, so I put my service account that is cop slash SQL underscore SC. So that is my uh, service account that I have created on the Active Directory. So now this is, we, we will click on uh, web services URL. Uh, by default, it has taken that it will be using port 80. And if you wanted, uh, if you have a certificate, uh, you can use that certificate. Suppose SQL Server Identity Certificate. For now, I'm not doing anything. I don't want it. So I can keep it uh, as it is, but let's have the SQL Server identity. And click on next. If you want, you can change the database or you can create the one. Let's create one. Click OK. Credential, it will automatically take in. Click next, finish. So what it will do, it will create uh, a database for us. finished database is created if you want to change you can change credentials from here let's click on next uh, you want to have the URL then you can have it otherwise it's fine uh, we don't need anything uh, execution account I don't want it for now what we will do we will click on next and we will apply an exit so everything is applied now what we will do we need to install the role uh, to install the role we will go into the administrator administrations then we will expand the size site we will expand the site on site server we'll click on over here we will add site system role so we it has already taken the details so we don't want anything we'll click on next now we don't have a proxy so we'll click on next and over here we will select the reporting service rule and we'll click on next all right so now it is available over here service account i can have it i can add a new account let's add a new account there was an account that we have created that's called uh, SQL underscore SA let's try to find it yeah it's there password was very simple p at the rate of s0rd I have kept it okay we'll click on next next and it will take another one minute and so oh it's very very quick and close now the reporting service rule is now installed now what we can monitor it to monitor we can go to the control no not, not the control panel we will go to the C program files I guess uh, and then we will find a folder called Microsoft configuration manager under configuration manager you will find logs it's there and in the logs you will find SSRS SSRS uh, SSRS it should be something like SSRS SSRS okay it's there now we click and open it and it has yet not executed so it might take some time so when it started you you can monitor uh, whatever it is doing in the backend so yes it has started actually so you will see that it successfully has created the instance to the monitoring reporting services and this is the link that it would be using it okay it has started it is it will download or uh, it will apply the pending reports for us over here now you can see it's there and if I click on reporting manager also now it will also be available you can see 
the database is over here two database available over here now if I click on reporting you will find uh, in couple of minutes the report started publishing over here and also you will find a couple of folders after some time so it will take another one I mean it takes some time to uh, so you can find that uh, this has started publishing the report a report called deployment under the deployment folder there, there would be a report called hardware 0010703 and then and the detailed description of that report that what this report is doing it so it started publishing it over here so if I refresh it now you will you might start finding the reports over here now after a couple of minutes what it will be done uh, you will find the folder structures also available here let's wait for some time and once the folder structure is available then we will see that one also okay let's scroll down it's been a couple of minutes now and if I scroll down you will find that SSRS service is healthy now on CM1 COP01 let's close it and let's refresh it I hope we need to close the console first and open it let's do it so that the folder structure can be formed and uh, let's go to monitoring reporting now you can see the favorites over here if you want you may you can make your reports favorites in your folders you can create and customize it and this is okay this is the folder that I was talking about so this is the folder structure and here are the reports so for everything you will find a report over here suppose if you want to check the memory your reports is over here operating system you will find the report power management rep application traffic distrib software distribution software update application tracker task sequence virtual appliances everything virtual sorry virtual applications everything you will find over here so this was this short uh, overview of how we can what is software uh, SCCM what is SCCM reporting and how we can configure in our environment thank you so much if you like this video please like and if you are new to this channel please subscribe it thank you so much